What's going on guys? This is John here with Tech Fist Lunch and Dinner. I got a Belkin uh, mini display port cable. It's about 20 bucks at the Apple Store, 16 bucks at Amazon.com. You don't have to pay shipping uh, if you're going to save a couple bucks. But I'm going to show you guys how to use this to set up two iMacs and actually use it as a second display and also as an extra uh, processing machine. So let's go ahead and jump into the video and I'll talk about uh, what I think at the end of this. Alright, so right now I have uh, both iMacs set up. Right now they're just uh, independent, so one, each iMac is their own. Uh, in a minute I'm going to show you guys how to set it up where I can connect uh, the displays, but I want to talk about for a minute uh, the positive uh, to this. So, I mean, you can go out and let's say you're buying a Mac Pro for four or five grand, you're going to have to spend uh, another two grand on top of that just to get the two cinema displays, the 27 inch ones. Um, with this, you can actually do, if I'm exporting in one project in Final Cut on one iMac, I can hop onto the next one uh, and go start a whole other project and get two things done at the same time. So that's one benefit. Now let me show you guys how to hook them up. So uh, using the actual mini display port um, connectors, about 20 bucks like I said, uh, just connect uh, one end from one iMac to the other. Very easy to do, takes about a minute. Uh, and then on the iMac that you want to use as a second display, go ahead and press Command uh, F2, that's the little brightness up button on your iMac. Uh, it'll take a minute to reboot, it's going to recognize the display. Now this side actually shows up as the second display to this iMac on the left hand side. Um, so I can drag it over, use that as the second display. Uh, you guys can see it interacts like that. And then if you guys are editing video in Final Cut, like I do a lot, let me show you how that comes out handy. Uh, you can actually use this to control uh, and get a big uh, visual of what you're editing right there. I mean, so you guys can see this is really cool being able to control everything. Uh, and you guys play it back, I mean, it runs smoothly. You guys can get a whole little pro setup. And like I mentioned, you can buy two Mac Pro, uh, you can buy a Mac Pro and two cinema displays. Um, but I, I kind of like this idea. Um, even though this isn't my uh, iMac, I'm not be able to keep it. That's going to have to go to my buddy's house. Uh, I definitely think I'm going to look into a configuration like this in the future. Um, so like I said, that was just a quick little simple tu tutorial on how to. And I also want to give you guys an idea. Uh, instead of spending maybe eight grand uh, for the Mac Pro setup, granted it's going to be faster, um, but like I said, you can do two things at once and get a really kick-ass setup. Um, and at the same time, granted, 4,500 bucks is still a lot of money, um, but you can go grab a second, uh, maybe i5 or i3, 27 inch, uh, kind of use that to do documents on, and really uh, multitask and get two things at once. Uh, like I said, for you video editors out there, um, this is a killer dual monitor setup for the iMac. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys had a little bit of fun with it, and as always, I'll, I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll catch you guys later.